I've got to do something about it. What are you moaning to me for? I've never seen anything like this. Uh, this uh, Guzmano lady. Forget it. She knows. She's smart. If she becomes a problem, the problem gets deported. Homicide has it. They'll do what they can. Which is nothing, and you know it. They won't even talk to them. The investigation will get buried right along with Mrs. Guzmano Caesar. But it's not going to get buried this time. All right, I'll bite. Why should a department, which is busy enough as it is, trying to hold back the tide, drop everything it's doing for some dead illegal? Because this dead illegal is tied with a place and a name. Raymond Metal Shop. For years, Raymond's been numero uno on the hot car pipeline across the border. He fences business machines, TVs, guns, you name it. Now you see him, now they're in old Mexico. No way to recover means, no way to clear cases. He makes us look like the Keystone Cops. Please, Rataza. We never laid a glove on this guy. His lawyers have danced him out every time, but now we got homicide. And now you want to dance a couple of more rounds, huh? I want to bust up his operation. I want to bust him. We're always complaining we catch the guys on the phones, but never the big fish in the back rooms. All I'm saying is a couple of weeks, a couple of bucks, and one tread-worn cop, and we can have this one. It'd be like grabbing flypaper if we go. Especially with a hothead like you. Frank. We'll take it upstairs. Now, I'll buy it if the commander will. And he'll buy it if the deputy chief will. Now, that may not sound like much of a decision, but in this department it is. Now, here it is. Rataza starts in Nogales, comes in as an illegal alien, works with the coyote, the smugglers, the labor brokers, and into the kickbacks and the scam artists. The whole ball game. And Raymond? I can retrace Cesar Guzman's steps with the coyote he used, a dude called El Indio. The word at the storefront is he supplies Raymond with his labor. It's word of yours. You know it's good? It's what the people say when they don't think we're listening. Once I'm up here, I can work the Guzmano homicide from the inside, the Raymond factory. I'll get everything we need. I don't like undercover operations, especially in foreign countries. The official side's too sticky. And not if there's no official side. Look, whether we work with our own liaison or any federal agency, the minute the federalities find out that Rataz is in Mexico, he's as good as dead. That's what I like to see, faith in your fellow officers. I have faith in our pay skills, sir, not in what the Mexican police bring home. If I was one of them, I'd need to do favors, too. The mordida is a way of life. Who's your backup man down there? Cordelia. If there's any trouble, he calls in the truce. You've gone under before? You've seen my folder. You get snuffed down there, I'll have the state, federal, and Mexican governments all wanting a piece of me. Okay, okay. Take a shot at these turkeys. I'll speak to my deputy chief. I'll recommend a go on this thing. Yes, sir. Eritaza, one cowboy move, and I blow the whistle on you. I got it. Adios. I thought this job stinks, and you were going to quit. I haven't decided to stay. I just figured if I go out, I want to go out with a bang. <laughs> Look, it's going to be over in a couple of weeks. We can make up for lost time, I promise. Couldn't we at least have the weekend? We could go to your mother's, you know? You said that it would take at least a week to coordinate wherever it is you're going. I need the week to get Mexican. Mexican? What are you now? Look, they call us pochos, California Mexicans. The term is not complimentary. But the people from the back country, they're different. Their values, uh, their fears. I've got to learn. I've got to feel like them. I've got to be believable in a week. <laughs> you see, uh, all of us aren't really alike, huh? Would you stop? Don't you think I know you by now? The more there is to worry about, the more you joke. It's dangerous, isn't it? It's really dangerous. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't think we could pull it off. I don't know what to say. There's nothing you can say.
Puede ser que lo ande buscando. Sí que me puede llevar al otro lado. Hey, amigo, amigo, this is your lucky day. I don't want any tickets, hombre. Gracias. Hey, you need something. That's no secret. I see you get off the bus from Culiacán yesterday. You here again today. You want to get over. I know it. So do most of the people here, but that's no secret. I got a name, El Indio. <laughs> Didn't I say this was your lucky day? Hey, cousin. I hear you looking for somebody. I keep looking for El Indio. El Indio? I'm the best coyote in Nogales. And whatever he charges, I'll take your cross for $50 less. Come on, come with me. So you and your compadres can take what I got and leave me in a ditch, eh, cousin? You asked, huh? I was told the Indio was reliable. No sabes, cuate. Where does the Indio stay? Just down on the corner. Uh, you ask my friend, huh? India's confirmed. He hangs out at a place called the Tropicana. Everything's called the Tropicana down here. With any luck, I'll go tonight. Is it true that the streets in America are paved with gold? That's right. And they also have telephone booths. Don't forget, this is where we part company. Well, I'll get in touch as soon as I get in. Here comes the next Mrs. Cordelia. Forget it. To get any place with that when you have to have a car that runs. It'll run. Zuniga, Miguel Zuniga. So, Senor Zuniga, you know how much the fee is? No, Senor. How much is it? Four hundred. Well, that is fine, Senor, because I have two hundred dollars. What do we do, or should I go to someone else? I'll take you for the two hundred because I like you. But you gotta pay me back three hundred more. My cousin in the U.S., Aguilar Smith. Personal favor to me. He will help you out and get you a job. And each week, you pay money to him. Money for me. Gracias, friend. Adios, te veo. I'm gonna go real soon now. Okay, right now, I'm gonna collect the money and valuables so you don't lose them in the water. Or if we get stopped. Will be returned. Hey, primos, you better give me your valuable stuff. I don't want you to lose them. Hey. I have nothing. You better give me your jewelry, lady, or you lose them. Um... Do you want to lose them? I want to... The senorita does not care to either, Prima. Thank you. You are going up north to work? Yes. And to be a nurse. I will go to school at night. What kind of work are you going to do? I have a wonderful job as a maid. For one hundred dollars a week. Where are you from? Culiacán. And you? Not too far.
his father. What? He waded across this river. Okay. I want to see. Someone will come for us. Don't worry, don't worry. Why till three o'clock? What are you asking all these questions for? Hey, you. Hey, you. You come with me. I'm going to take you to a place you'll be more comfortable. I want to stay here. I said, come with me, lady. Please. I want to stay. I could leave you here. And the immigration will take you back across the border. Hey, senor. Hey, man. Shut up. Por favor, please. Por favor, don't interfere. How do we get enough without him? Our money. It took so long to save. Hey, primo. You be careful. Hey, don't worry. They're going to get over it. I know. Calma. Hey, 